in the series of admixture for concrete and its type like chemical admixture, Miller admixture. Now I would like to request Dr. K. Mohan sir to tell us about the waterproofers yeah, waterproofing admixtures, gas forming admixture or yeah, agent. Waterproofers or waterproofing admixtures are the materials which reduce the flow of water which pass through concrete by action of capillary forces. Water admixture may be obtained in powder paste, in powder, paste or liquid form and may consist of pore filling or water repellent materials. The chemi chemically active pore filling materials are silicates of soda, aluminium, and zinc sulfate and aluminium and calcium chloride. They accelerate the setting time of concrete and thus render the concrete more impervious at early age. The chemically inactive pore filling materials are chalk, fuller's earth, and chalk. They improve the workability and facilitate the reduction of water for given workability and make concrete dense which is impervious. Some materials like soda, potash soaps, calcium soaps, resins, vegetable oils, fats, waxes and coal tar residue are added as water repelling materials in waterproofing admixture. In some kind of waterproofing admixture, inorganic salts of fatty acids, usually calcium or ammonium stearate or oleate is added along with lime and calcium chloride. Calcium or ammonium stearate or oleate will mainly act as a water repellent. Lime as pore filling material and calcium chloride accelerates the early strength development and helps in efficient curing of concrete and concrete, all of which contributes to our making impervious. Some types of water type of waterproofing admixtures may contain butyl stearate, the action of which is similar to soaps. Vitile stearate is superior to soap as water repellent material in concrete. Heavy material, while free from fatty or vegetable oil, has been proved to be effective in rendering the concrete waterproof. The use of asphalt cut back oils has been. Now I'll discuss gas forming admixture or agents. Gas forming admixtures or agents reacts with hydroxide produced in the hydration of cement and produce minute bubbles of hydrogen gas throughout the concrete matrix. The extent of gas produced is dependent upon the type and amount of admixture, fineness and chemical composition of cement, temperature and mixed proportion. This action, when properly controlled, causes a slight expansion in plastic concrete or mortar, and this reduces or eliminates the settlement and may increase the bond to reinforcing bars and improve the effectiveness of grout in filling joints. It is particularly useful for grouting under machine bases. The effect on strength depends upon whether or not the concrete is restrained from expanding. If it is restrained, the effect on strength is negligible. And if not, the loss of strength may be considerable. It is therefore important that the form can be tight and the grout is completely confined. Aluminium powder is used as the gas forming admixture. The amount of pow powder added varies from 0 0.005 to 0.02% by mass of cement. Zinc and magnesium powders are also used for this purpose.